Hi, thanks for having me. This is Riley from Sushi. The talk I want to pitch today is the king of the future, decentralized exchange. For those who haven't known me before, I'm Riley and currently help Sushi with community growth and development. Previously, I was at Amtoken, the largest non-custodial Ethereum wallet in Asia. Uh, I spent a decent amount of time advocating for Ethereum to the outside world. So my favorite science fiction writer, William Gibson, once said, the future is already here. It's just not very evenly distributed. See, we are all sitting here and listen to sushi section five or 10 years from now. How will the world look different? One way we could look at the future that may come to the past is by looking at the history. So let's have a brief view of how the tech has advanced the centralized finance. Start with 1920s. Uh, a counting machine was invented at that time and it started to liberating human labor in finance industry. Then later in 1950s and beyond, mainframe computers spread up the banking system. Alan Turing has famous quote that time, can machine think? So followed by 1970s, ATM and credit cards are being popular. The stock market has radical transformations. The menu entry has been replaced by the computers and algorithms. Later in 1990s, the internet goes to mainstream. We have computerization of finance. Later on, we've got FinTech revolution, the PayPal and Robinhood and Stripe are here. But are they actually perfect? My answer is probably no. Uh, all the services will still rely on the central authority. They will inevitably have mismanagement, fraud, and corruption. I guess everyone here has heard of Enron scandal. The, the whole process is really inefficient. We've got massive human capital and time wasted in between, and not everyone can get access to basic financial infrastructures. Here's a picture that I took when I was traveling in Africa. So I was really worried about their living conditions, nevertheless to say um, financial freedom, right? Uh, some advantages DeFi has compared to the centralized finance. So it's transparent and public variable. The smart contract is open source and anyone can inspect the code. It's more efficient because it removes intermediaries. It's open finance and universal accessible. It's not inclusive, right? And it's censorship resistance and self custodia. We've got more innovations. AMM and flash loans are not existed in traditional finance. So where is the future? I'm also convinced that the single most impactful thing we can do today to make this world a better place is to increase people's freedom. More freedom is a key to eliminating poverty, to the equality of opportunities, and more fun and more creativity. So let's say everyone can use sushi, no matter who you are and where you are. Yes, anyone, anywhere, and anytime, you can use sushi swap. Well, let's give you a brief introduction about what kind of products that Sushi Dig offer. We have multi-chain AMs, you can swap it anytime and anywhere. We have Kashi for lending and leverage. We've also got Bento Box. If you are a developer, you can build your own dApps uh, on top of the Bento Box. If you are a sushi holder, you can stake your sushi at Sushi Bar and enjoy extra yield. And we have an awesome program where users can enjoy double rewards. So Sushi is a decentralized community-driven platform and welcome all of you to the home of DeFi. Some of the key metrics that we hit this year. So there are already uh, 20 plus wallets supported Sushi and also uh, Sushi has been um, deployed in more than 20 uh, chains. Uh, for layer two, we've got Arbitrum and Polygon and other chains, we have BSC and Avalanche, Harmony, and uh, Phantom uh, as well, uh, and more. We've got more than 40,000 Discord members and 220,000 uh, sushi holders. Here you can see the growth value locked at sushi. So no matter who you are and where you are, 
Anyone can be a liquidity provider at Sushi and enjoy 0.25% of the swap fees. Plus, you can enjoy the extra rewards if you stake your Sushi to Sushi Bar. With XSushi, you will have the voting rights, you can provide liquidity via XSushi and ETHPAIR, and use XSushi as collateral at CREAM and other lending protocols. So as you can see, we are really trying our best to benefit the Sushi users. The next feature is Onsen program. So Onsen is a liquidity reward system for tokens that are relatively new. Um, the benefits of being uh, on the Onsen menu is that the project uh, themselves are not forced to incentivize their community to provide liquidity for the tokens because Sushi does for them. Yeah, the next is uh, Bento Box. So what is Bento Box? Bento Box is a token vault that can actually support a collective of dApps. It allows developers to build complex capital efficiency applications on top of it, such as a Trident, for example. We'll talk about soon. So if you put your uh, assets on the bento box uh, without doing anything you will generate passive yields uh, from flash loans and other strategies. Next thing we're going to talk about is Kashi. Kashi is a lending and margin trading platforms unlike traditional DeFi money markets uh, where it's high risk assets can introduce risks to the entire protocol. For Kashi uh, each market is entirely separated so they will have less risks here we go. Uh, we've got Trident. Uh, so Trident is the Sushi's next generation AMM. It's built on top of the Bento box and uh, it's expanded the pool type options. We used to only have constant product pool XYK formula, but now we've got hydro pools, we've got concentrated liquidity pools, we've got weighted pools, and we've also got times uh, for routing engine. So Tynas will query our many pool types and consider factors such as the uh, gas cost, uh, price impacts, uh, the graph topology to generate the best solution. So next is MISO. MISO is our token launch platform. It will ease the process uh, for token creators to launch their new tokens. And communities can buy these tokens at very early stage. So it's basically a win-win situation. Let's have a look at the traditional VC. It takes a long time to maturity. It has high risk to go zero. It has like low liquidity, and, but it will compensate with high return. Um, but in MISO, it has shorter term to maturity. Yeah, and the global pool risk capital has been just totally unlocked. Do you think it's all? Not really, our NFT platform is coming also. Let's have a short video of it. So you might ask, what is Shoyu? So Shoyu is our NFT platform. It is a complete product that go beyond being a simple marketplace. It is expected to involve in an immersed gallery, 3D metaverse in the near future. And creators can choose to uh, monetize their work as an NFT or through the social tokens. It offers on-chain and off-chain uh, exchange. It, it has bidding strategies. It follows royalties distribution and uh, it supports fractional ownership and will go to multi-chain soon. So who's behind all of this? This is a picture of our corn team behind. Um, that's really cool. We just had our one year birthday last month and uh, the pixel art was powered by our wonderful community. So we are building for the future of finance and we really mean it. And if you want to stay up to date, uh, you can follow me at Twitter. It's Riley Chen. You can follow us on Twitter as well. It's SushiSwap. And uh, feel free to explore different kind of features at our website. It's sushi.com. And welcome to join our Discord and have a cup of tea with us. Uh, that's basically all the things I want to talk about today. And I hope you enjoy my talk and I hope you enjoy the day.